Hi everybody, in this episode I'm going to be covering how to add and manipulate audio effects inside of Premiere. We're just going to be going over the basics here, we're not going to be getting terribly complex. I also recommend watching my previous episode on how to add video effects and manipulate video effects because I go into a little bit more detail on that and a, a lot of that information translates over to adding audio effects and manipulating them as well. Uh, first of all I'm going to go up to my arrangement windows here, I'm going to say arrange. I'm going to tell this to put this into my work effects workspace here and notice it does a couple things. It grabs your effect panel here. It grabs all of your effects and puts them up in a little panel up here. And if you actually arrow down on, on any of these, it expands this little area here and shows uh, different folders with different different effects in them. It also shows your effect controls over here. For once you've added an effect to a clip, it will show the effect controls for that clip over here. So for this one, we're going to be covering audio effects. I'm going to go under my audio effects folder right here and arrow this down. And you can see all these different effects here. You can see all these different effects here that are under your audio channel. If you're going to be doing some serious audio effects, I'd recommend going under uh, Adobe Audition. That does a lot more and it does a, a lot faster and a lot easier. But for just doing some basic audio effects, this is really nice inside of Premiere here. Now all you have to do to add an audio effect is you simply grab the one that you want. Let's find something like our... Let's go down to our pitch shifter here. I'm going to grab my pitch shifter. I'm going to drag this and I'm going to drop it onto this clip right here. I've got a lot of audio right here. Let's try this one out right there. Drop it right there. And I'm going to play through this clip here. Space paste. The perfect toothpaste on the go. For fresh breath and clean teeth, just chew, swish, and fresh. So we have this audio down here. But now I select this clip here. And uh, you'll notice that it has that pitch shifter added to this clip. Uh, these two here, the volume and the channel vo the volume and the channel volume are natively added to every single audio clip that inside of your timeline. But now this one here has been added specifically to it. If I grab it, let's just grab another one. I'm going to grab Guitar Suite, drag and drop it on there. I'm going to grab D Hummer. I'm going to drag and drop it on there. Notice it adds all of these filters, all these effects onto this single audio clip right there. But I'm going to undo undo so I'm just left with my so I'm left with my pitch shifter right there and most of these audio effects to uh, to get inside of them and be able to change them it usually has kind of an edit button here some of them have some quick operation some quick changing items right here that you can do but with this one with a lot of them you're going to have this little edit button you click on your edit and it brings open a specialized window here for affecting your audio so with the pitch shifter here and what you usually have with a lot of your audio effects are presets it has this little top pull down of, pre with, of presets right here. I'm going to click on this and it already has a bunch of different, uh, it has like four different pitches in here. It goes from uh, Angry Gerbil to the Dark Lord. So this is going to be high pitched, this is going to be low pitch. Let's try Angry, Angry Gerbil here. And it sets these here. It brings my semitones up here and it has it by high precision here. Now we can close this and those changes have been done and added to that pitch. Let's move this back and listen to this. Now we got our angry gerbil sound. If I click on edit, we can go to, let's change this back to, we'll go to Dark Lord. Uh, so now we close this. Let's go back and listen. And brings it way down. Let's go to edit, and I'm going to do this somewhere kind of in between. Let's go to Deathly Ill there. Try that. Now listen, this just brings the pitch down a little bit. Perfect toothpaste on the go. For fresh breath and clean teeth, just chew, swish, and fresh. Very subtle, but her, her, her pitch has gotten a little bit lower. Let me just toggle this off by hitting my effects tab. Go back and play. Toothpaste on the go. For fresh breath and, and clean there, teeth. And there is her normal voice. So you can also hit edit and you can slide these back and forth and get different ratios and different semitones and different sense and things with uh, working with audio there. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to select my pitch shifter and hit delete and get rid of that. Some of the more common filters that people use in here are going to be, of course, things like parametric equalizers, compressors, things to change the bass and things to kind of get rid of bass and things to bring up treble. There's your treble right there, and occasionally adding reverb. In fact, let's mess with this. Let's let's add a little bit of reverb to this. I'm going to grab this studio reverb. I'm going to drop it right there, and it brings the studio re reverb right there. And you can turn this on and off right there. But right now, I'm going to hit my edit, and uh, here are some presets. We're going to pull down, and you can look at presets, and you can even slide these around manually and get exactly what you need. But I'm going to click on this, and we're going to say, uh, let's go to. We're going to go to Great Hall, which is going to be a lot of reverb. I'm going to close that. We're going to play through this. Perfect toothpaste on the go. For fresh breath and clean teeth, just chew, swish, and fresh. And it's very echoey. Perfect toothpaste on the go. For fresh breath and clean teeth, just chew, swish, and fresh. 
Okay, and let's also grab our pitch shifter and drag that and drop it on there. So we're gonna do a couple of them here. I'm gonna hit edit and then go under, let's grab our semitones. Let's bring them down a little bit. Bring those down a little bit. I'm gonna close that and listen to this. The perfect toothpaste on the go for fresh So our voice is a little bit deeper and we have that echo now. So we have two effects added to this single clip. So now let's say we wanna move those to a different clip. Well, I can do that in one of, two, one of a couple ways here. I can select one effect and hold down control and select two effects and hit control C and copy. I'm gonna to move to another clip here, right here to this clip. I'm gonna select it and now hit control V. And notice when I hit this one here, it's effect controls come up in the window here. So a couple things. First of all, if you wanna affect something from a clip, you're gonna to have to select it and it will show the effects for that clip. And then you have to move your playhead over it and play it to hear that, what effect it, is ta it has taken. So I'm gonna select this clip, hit control V and paste. And I've now pasted those to this clip. Let's listen. Have you heard about the pill? And you got the echo and you got the deeper voice now. And another way of doing that, let's say we wanna add that to everything. I'm gonna undo that so it's no longer on that clip there. But let's say I wanna take this clip and I want to move all those effects to this entire timeline. I'm gonna select this clip and just hit Control C and copy. And now I'm going to hit Control A to select everything. But I wanna deselect this one because I don't wanna copy the effects on this clip again because it will double up those effects. I'm gonna hold down Shift and click on that one to deselect it. So everything else has been selected in this timeline. I'm gonna right click and say, paste attributes. And I'm just going to paste my audio attributes here. So right now I have my video ones uh, disabled because I didn't have any video effects on these. Uh, but right now I'm going to paste, I don't have to do volume necessarily or channel volume or panner, but I'm going to apply these effects here. And I hit okay. And now if you select any one of these clips here, you'll notice it has those effects added. So let's listen to this, you'll hear them. You need to get on the pill. There you go. So now that's been added to that clip there. If you are searching for a specific clip here, instead of arrowing down this folder and trying to look through everything, there's not a ton of audio effects, but if you're looking for a specific one, if you're looking for an equalizer, I can just type in the letters in the search engine up here, E, Q. And it'll bring up all the items that have the word EQ or equalizer. And an EQ is an equalizer, so it brings up equalizer and it narrows it down to just those items with that word in it. Or if you type in pitch, there you go. It just brings up the pitch shifter. It has an older version of the, the, the legacy one that uh, Premiere used to have and the new pitch shifter. If we want to get rid of effects, some of the ways we can do that is we can select a clip. We can go up and select an individual clip and hit delete. Select this one, hit delete, and it gets rid of them. I'm going to undo, undo. But also you can right click on a clip and go up to remove attributes. And then you can tell it to, if you have any video effects, you can tell it to remove video effects. Right here I can tell it to get rid of, I'm just going to say, just get rid of my effects that I've added to this. So I'm going to hit OK. And now when I select this clip, notice those effects have gone. If you want to do it to your entire timeline, you can do Control-A and select all. Right click, go up to remove attributes. And I can just tell it to remove every stinking thing in here if I want to and reset everything back to its original values. Now nothing's added to this. So that's a quick rundown on how to add audio effects and manipulate them inside of Premiere. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.